All right, so, all right, so today I'm going to be doing a video about the late rapper PNB Rock. Uh, this is really just to tell you guys about his life and a little bit about who he was and just to honor and dedicate his legacy because uh, we really lost one here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get right into it. Early Life Rakim Hashim Allen, aka PNB Rock, was born on December 9th, 1991 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was raised in the Germantown neighborhood, which was not considered ideal by any means. In order to earn a living, his father became involved in illegal activities and in 1994 was killed in a gang feud. His mother was burdened with all the responsibility for the poverty-stricken family. She frequently checked into shelters with her children and Rock spent most of his early days in these shelters. Rock entered school and did fairly well. Apart from being academically good, he was highly popular. Many students followed him around and he made lots of friends pretty easy. However, this popularity led him to score poor grades and contributed to his expulsion from the school. In his teen years, he lived in Northeast Philly. He grew up listening and taking inspirations from gangster rappers such as Tupac and Biggie, while also listening to Jodeki, who was his favorite R&B artist. At the age of 13, Allen was sent to a youth detention program for committing robberies and fighting in school. Coming back, he had quit high school due to financial issues, and after spending some time among petty criminals, he decided to make a career in music. At the time, his uncle, who was taking care of the family, also died in a gang war, and this turns rock life upside down. He started leading a life of petty crimes and drug peddling. He was sent to jail for three years at the age of 19 after being accused of robberies and selling drugs. After his release, he was homeless for a bit. This is where he adopted the stage name PNB Rock, which paid homage to Pastorius and Baton, a street corner near where he grew up in Germantown. Career. In early 2014, PNB Rock collaborated with one of his neighborhood friends to come up with a track named Weekend Baby. The song focused mainly on chaotic sounds rather than on vocals or melodies. Needless to say, the song went big in Philadelphia. This made PNB Rock confident about his skills as a musician. After the local success of the single, Rock started working on his debut mixtape, which was based on the poetry and the song lyrics he wrote while he was in prison. The mixtape titled Real Bangas was released in June 2014 and received a good response. This paved way to get noticed by major music companies, including Atlantic Records. They located Rock and offered a deal, which he gladly accepted, and his first project with Atlantic was a mixtape titled R&B 3 in 2015. This was his third mixtape, and by then he had already earned a big name in the gangster rap scene. In June 2016, he released the single Selfish, which peaked at number 51 on the US Billboard Hot 100, which led to Rolling Stone including him in their list of 10 new artists you need to know. On January 10, 2017, he released his second retail mixtape, GTTM Going Through the Motions through Atlantic Records and Empire Distribution. The album debuted at number 28 on the US Billboard 200 chart, and in April 2017 he contributed to the soundtrack of The Fate and the Furious with two singles, Gang Up, which had Young Thug, 2 Chains, and Wiz Khalifa on it, and Horses with Kodak Black and A Boogie. In June 2017, PNB Rock was named as one of the 10 members of the XXL's 2017 freshman class, along with A Boogie, Playboy Cardi, Ugly God, Kyle, Amine, Made in Tokyo, Kamea, Cap G, and XXXTentacion. His debut album, Trap Star Turned Pop Star, was released in May 2019. Besides some singles featuring late rappers Pop Smoke and King Vong respectively, it wouldn't be until February 2022 he released another mixtape, SoundCloud Days, which featured various artists including Pasto Flaco and Young Fazo. He independently released Love Me Again on September 2nd, 2022, which was the last single he released during his lifetime. Personal Life PNB Rock had a difficult past, which he never shied away from talking about in his songs. Most of his songs were autobiographical in nature, and he used to say that he is here just because of his past and he would not change a thing even if he could. He had four siblings, including an autistic younger brother and one that died in a gang feud. He frequently donated money for autism research and other social deeds. Rock liked to keep his relationship secret, but it is assumed that he started a romantic relationship with a girl when he was 15. They broke up in 2009 when he was sent to jail. Thereafter, he did have a few relationships, and one of them ended with him having a daughter, Milan, who was born in October 2013. He welcomed his second daughter, Zuri, with his girlfriend, Stephanie, yep, in 2020. In early 2022, they broke up. Death. 
PNB Rock died on September 12, 2022 at the age of 30 when he was fatally shot during an attempted robbery at Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in LA. A fate all too common and sad for hip hop artists and rappers, gone but not forgotten as PNB had many fans and family who always carry a legacy and I'm sure he's inspired many people to experiment with his niche of rap. He will always live on in the world of hip hop and R&B. Rest in peace to a unique, soulful, genuinely nice guy and artist. Thank you all for watching.